Hi, I'm Anthony and I'm a paramedic and today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to carry out a primary survey for a trauma patient. Before we enter any scene, always ensure that the scene is safe and that your universal safety precautions are in place. For a trauma patient, the first thing I do is take up C-spine control and establish the patient's level of response. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Can you tell me your name? My name is Simon. I then instruct my assistant to come in and take up C-spine control for me. Okay, Simon, we're just going to hold your head straight here, okay? okay. It's just a safety precaution. Excellent. First thing I need to establish on the acronym is A, airway. I get my patient or my assistant to perform a trauma jaw thrust and check the patient's airway. If the airway is clear, we will leave the patient. However, if the patient is unconscious, in order to maintain the airway, we will size, insert, and invert an OPA. For the purpose of the demonstration, we would say that's now done. When the airway is maintained, we then move on to the next letter in the acronym, and that's B for breathing. We check breathing by look, listen, and feel in this position for absent or inadequate breathing. Check the patient's rate and depth. We can also auscultate the four points, comparing either side. After auscultation, I will then need to get a visual on the chest, and I will have to remove the clothing if this was a real patient by cutting it away. For the purpose of the demonstration, we'll say the clothing is cut away, inspect the chest for any bruising, contusions, lacerations, any broken ribs. At B, I will also put on oxygen. I will turn my oxygen bottle on to 15 litres per minute, applying a normal breather. I fill the bag first, and then place the number breather onto the patient. From here, I will now check C for circulation. I check the patient's pulse, rate, rhythm, and volume. I can check cap refill. I will also check the patient's skin color. Whilst I'm checking the pulse, scan the body for any life-threatening bleeding. Check my gloves. When I put my hands into any areas I can't see. If there was any life-threatening bleeds here, now is the time I would treat them. At C, I will also apply a cervical collar. I size the collar. Ensure the collar is centrally aligned. I can tell the patient this may not be such a comfortable device to wear, however, it is a necessity. From there, I check disability 
an at this ability I need to establish its pearl and where the patient is on the output scale. Okay, you know Simon, is it? Yes. Okay, Simon, where are you? In Dublin. Excellent, Simon. And can you tell me what day it is today, Simon? Today is Tuesday. Excellent. Simon is A on the output scale. Pupils are equal round and reactive to light. From there, I will then go on to E, expose and examine. From here, I'm looking for any other life threatening injuries anywhere on the body. For expose and examine, we need to ensure we get eyes on everywhere on the patient. Do you feel any other injuries anywhere else, Simon? No. During expose and examine, we would also look for many alert tags. This concludes the primary survey on a trauma patient.